921, we've all had science class in school, and it may have been hard for us to stay awake while learning about states of matter, the Earth's crust, and kinetic energy. And that's why one local teacher at Idea Harvey, Naheem Kappas, is using music, dancing, and more fun to get her students interested in science. Leah McFarthing is a new sixth grade teacher and says science should actually be fun. If they can learn the lyrics to Cardi B, then they can definitely learn about potential kinetic energy through music too. And Max Massey joins us now for a debrief. And how's No Shave November going for you? So far, so good. Uh, it yeah. is a little bit frustrating. I just want to let people know this is for a good cause. We're yes. just not being lazy here. Right. Yes, a we reminder. Were, yeah, we were so busy earlier this morning with traffic and weather, we didn't get to say anything about it. So, we're, yeah, we're definitely not lazy. It's for to, to fund the battle and uh, against cancer, all cancers. Anyway, back to topic yes. here. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely, you know, outside of the box. Outside of the you box. Know, the, kids, the kids are dancing, but it seems like it's working, right? Yes, it is unconventional to say the least, but it is amazing. You know, they've seen results. She actually, uh, she started, uh, she took over the class in mid-September, and at that point, they were getting test scores just about the top five. And since she's taken over, their test scores have risen exponentially. They are actually ranked number one in their latest scores, and that's number one out of 96 schools. That's fantastic. I guess one of the questions uh, when you go a little deeper, Max, is what's the reaction been like from higher ups in the administration to this this experiment, this the successful experiment? Right. And so when you know when you if you take a look, you know you see kids singing and dancing in the middle of the day, in the beginning of the day, uh, talking about science class. But if you walk by, you hear Bruno Mars, you hear Queens, we will rock you. So you're like, what are they doing in there? Isn't that supposed to be talking about the rock cycle? And uh, you know, we talked to one of the principals who was actually watching one of the classes that we were in, and she loves it. I mean, at first, obviously, probably not 100% on board, but she says these students are loving everything. She says that these students can't stop talking about science, they're excited to go to class. It's getting kids up, it's getting the blood flowing early in the morning, and most importantly, it's getting these kids interested in subjects that otherwise they might not like that much. Oh my goodness. But yes, I, I was going to say that I have a personal connection to the story because mm -hmm. you went out and shot this with my husband. My husband's a photographer. And I'm hearing. He? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hearing this. He's singing this music that the music sounds familiar, but the lyrics are completely different. I'm like, well, what? is he doing? What's he so talking about? So you thought about? he was off his rocker, but he, he's <laughs> right. been in the class. He was right. He was singing about science. It was the Bruno Mars song, <laughs> right. yeah. but we lyrics. learned a lot about the rock cycle yeah. that day. Yeah, it was, it was very interesting. So, you know, so in addition to just learning, you know, learning what they were learning in class, I understand the teacher actually challenged her students as well. Right. So she issued a challenge to her students saying, can you guys make up your own song and try to incorporate science with music? And one of her students, an 11 year old did just that she created her own rap and she performed it for us and it was phenomenal it was really interesting it was really catchy but the most important part we were interviewing and we were she was very candid I was I was asking her do you like science she's like I love science it's like okay well did you like it for this year she says no no not at all. <laughs> that's, that's well, an honest answer but right that's a but that's a great answer which means this is working Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so far so good. And Steph, you know, you were talking about, we showed this on the weekend, you were yes. saying that your daughter oh, actually yes. does the same kind of stuff. Yeah, so my daughter, much younger than sixth grade, but um, they, they have uh, YouTube videos. The teacher will put it on the big screen and they will have lessons and she's singing at school and she's singing at home and, you know, it, it helps to retain it a lot longer. That's true. I can see it already. That's so. true. Very um, good. So if folks are feeling inspired by watching your story, Max, can they go check it out online and maybe yes. share it with friends or family? Yes, ksat.com. And speaking about sharing with friends and family, teachers and parents of these students actually went up to the teacher and was like, hey, we want to keep this going. How can we do that? And she actually sends them individual links oh, of the subjects nice. and the songs. It's great. In some of your video, you can see people actually out in the hallway looking through the door, <laughs> grinning. It's like everybody <laughs> wants to be in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Teachers and students want right. to be in there. Oh, oh that's that a lot so of fun. Neat. Well, so congratulations to Ms. McFarthing yes. and, and all the kids out there at uh, IDEA. You said it's the Najum campus, mm -hmm. right? Najum oh, campus. Very good. Awesome. Max, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thanks for bringing the story. Thank you, guys. You guys will see each other again. Yeah. Yes. We'll see you soon. Weekend. Weekend. Yeah. We'll be here. Cool. <laughs>